Hello, my name is Kylie and welcome to Fur, Feathers, Scales, or Skin. All living things have different types of things covering their bodies. Let's learn about the different kinds. Ready to go undercover to find out more? Let's get started. know what the covering or outside of your body is called? It's not a sweater, t-shirt, dress, or pants. It's skin. Human beings have skin covering our bodies. Take a look at the skin on your arm. What do you notice? Hmm. What are some words you can use to describe your skin? Did you say smooth? Our skin is smooth most of the time because it is not bumpy. It can be a little bumpy if you get goosebumps. Goosebumps happen when we get a chill or get excited. We call them goosebumps because they look like the skin of a goose without their feathers. We have skin to protect our bodies from the outside world and to keep us from getting sick. Our skin also helps us to keep warm in the winter and cool in the summer. What about the skin of different kinds of animals? Let's take a look at a rabbit. What do you notice? Rabbits, yes, have fur covering their skin. Fur is made up of a lot of hair. We have hair on our bodies too, but not as much as a rabbit. Rabbit fur is soft and cuddly. They have this fur to keep them warm in the winter and protected from rain and bugs in the summer. Here is an antelope. They have hair covering the skin on their bodies, but their hair is not very soft. If you were to rub it, it would feel rough and not cuddly at all. This rough hair helps the antelope keep dry and cool in the summer like a sunshade and warm in the winter like a warm coat. They don't have to change clothes like us. Neat! Let's see, hmm, what has feathers? Did you say birds? Right, good job. Birds have covering feathers all over them. Their feathers grow out of their skin and are made out of the same stuff as fingernails. Feathers do a lot of different things. Most birds, like this blue jay, use their feathers to fly. I bet you know the name of this bird that uses its feathers to swim and not fly. Yes, you're right, it's a penguin. Penguins also use their feathers to stay warm and dry too. Ducks use their feathers to fly and to help them stay afloat on top of the water. Lizards, snakes, and fish have very different coverings than humans, rabbits, birds, and other animals. They have scales. Scales are also made up of the same thing our fingernails are made up of. Snake scales are not slimy like most people think. They are smooth and can be made of very beautiful colors. Snake skin has scales to help protect the snake if it were to get attacked or rub up against something rough. Their scales are like armor on a knight. Lizards also use their skin in this way. As lizards and snakes grow, they must shed their skin and grow new skin. Their scales cannot grow bigger, and that is why they must grow new ones. Fish also have scales. They do not shed their skin like snakes and lizards. Their scales grow as they get bigger. Look at this fish called a tarpon. And older tarpon scales can be as big as your hand. Insects do not have skin, feathers, fur, or scales as a covering. They wear their skeletons on the outside. Wow! Their covering is called an exoskeleton. Exo means outside. So the next time you see a cricket, like this one, you are seeing her skeleton. Insects use their exoskeleton to stay safe. 
They shed or molt this outer skeleton like snakes because it doesn't grow bigger than the insect. Learning about the different types of animal coverings sure is interesting. What kinds of living things are near you? Do you know what type of coverings they have? Fur, feathers, scales, or skin? Practice what you learned using our fun online games and quizzes. Remember to always be clever. Hey, hey.